Two men in their 20s shot early this morning in Worcester, and one is now dead. Family members tried to rush him to the hospital, but he didn't survive. The second victim said to be in serious condition. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Police are now looking for suspects as they investigate a scene that is riddled with bullets. WBZ's Jim Smith is live at the Worcester Police Department with the latest. And Katie and Ken, Worcester police are indeed working tonight, actively looking for at least one suspect in this double shooting, a shooting that is increasing fear in the neighborhood. No one deserves to go back like that. A sad story on the hills of Worcester, a young life cut short by gun violence, a growing memorial to a 23-year-old man shot to death early Sunday morning here on Sturgis Street. Another man, only 28, was badly wounded and is in serious condition. And it could have been even worse. Stray bullets flew and also struck three parked cars. The broken glass, a grim reminder of what happened. Well, I was really surprised that it was two houses away from us. Like, if it was something random, then it could have been, hey, they could have decided to go two houses down the street and it could have been us. It was really shocking to me. Worcester police say witnesses told them a man had come from the side of a house and fired several shots before taking off. Now friends are leaving flowers, balloons and candles at the scene. Neighbors absorbing the news. Oh my, I didn't realize they were that young. I, they haven't lived their life yet. They're just beginning their life. The names of the victims have not yet been released. There's no word right now of any arrests. Live at Worcester Police Headquarters, Jim Smith, WBZ News.